जी नमस्ते नमस्ते सुनील जी सभी को नमस्ते गुड मॉर्निंग एंड वेलकम सो यस्टरडे वी हैड बीन टॉकिंग अबाउट दिस इन यू एच वी थ्री वी आर ऑन लेक्चर टू वी वर डिस्कसिंग द शिफ्ट दैट वी मे हैव एक्सपीरियंस्ड आफ्टर यू एच वी टू and what we can expect after uhv3 so of course not necessarily that we would all have experienced this shift it is possible we may be somewhere in that shift it is also possible that uh, even though we feel we have been looking at the content of uhv2 it may not be in our living right now so all of that uh, as we go through the exploration we will find that the exploration as it becomes deeper as we are able to see things more and more clearly with more clarity especially after the exercises many of you had uh, you know those who have done exercise 1 and 2 have mentioned that that in the morning session has brought about a major change in your living because after all whatever we read whatever we hear as information it's only a philosophy it's only a concept and doesn't mean much to us in our living unless and until we can experience something out of it so that was the aim and with that we put together some assignments depending on whatever we are discussing during the morning session so that we can reflect on some parts throughout the day so yesterday we had um, there is a hand raised what i'll do is i'll just mention about yesterday's assignment and then we'll take all your reflections yesterday it may have seemed a little bit rushed um i think we didn't have that much time to interact so today we will interact a little more so that we can get all the maybe not all but many of the sharings and doubts and questions we can discuss so yesterday we were talking about this chart that you see in front of you on the screen about the total shift from uhv2 and what is expected after uhv3 so the one that is expected after uhv3 obviously we will not be able to we will not be expected to go through right now what we may have seen after uhv2 in a very gross sense is that we start looking at ourselves as more than the body earlier we may not have thought much about it but in our living it may have reflected almost you can say spontaneously or automatically that we are the body so now that shift may have taken place that at least the thought goes there that i am more than the body i am the self and when that happens that when that shift happens everything about our purpose and program also there is a shift obviously if i have assumed i am the body i my whole purpose is to guide to um to try to uh, sort of get the happiness through the body because that is how i see it even though that void of uh, unhappiness within me is there that happiness is not there within me i am not able to refer to my natural acceptance i am not aware of myself i am not aware of my natural acceptance therefore to fill that lack of happiness within me i try to get it from somewhere else from outside which is through the body so this may have been one part and the other shift that may have happened with this 
assumption that I am body, shifting to I am self and body, is my interaction with others in relationships, especially among close family members or people we interact with on a regular basis. We may have found this little shift happening in us that now our um, focus has shifted from trying to get them to change and instead seeing what our role is in the relationship. Rather than trying to get this feeling from outside, not knowing what to do about that void inside. So when I have a feeling of opposition, I am disturbed, I am unhappy. But I think that person outside is responsible. So I keep trying to change the other person. And in that process, I am more um, disheartened, I am more depressed because the other doesn't want to change. Because you see, he is also trying to change me because he is in the same boat. So that shift we may have been able to notice a little bit that you start seeing things from the other's perspective. You start looking at just as your intention is pure, just as you have natural acceptance, the other also has natural acceptance. The other's intention is also pure. It's another matter that just as we had not been referring to our natural acceptance, the other person may also not be referring to the natural acceptance. So in the behavior, something quite contrary may show up. So we ask that question, no? how can you say that the person's intention is good when we are repeatedly telling them that, you know, say for a student, like that example came up, that when somebody is being told repeatedly, then also they don't come in time or they don't attend the class or they don't listen. Then how do we say that the intention is pure? So if you look at our natural acceptance, that purity is there within us, just as it is in anybody, all of us. But how often do we refer to it? That is a big question. So our desire at this moment may or may not match our natural acceptance. Similarly, for that other person, for the student or whoever, he does want to understand. He does want to know. That is his innate need. But right now, he is not referring to his natural acceptance. His desire may be to have fun outside, to look at the mobile phone, to do something else. So his desire is not matching his natural acceptance. And what is that? That is a problem in competence. So because of this lack of competence, you see it reflected in his behavior. But if I am clear that the intention is you know, pure, the intention is just like mine, it is a problem in competence, then I need not get upset or angry. I can just see that if I have more competence, I can help improve the other's competence. Two things will happen with that. The first thing is that I myself feel very calm, very comfortable inside. And I realize that this is what I wanted in the first place. I wanted to be happy, to be calm, to be comfortable. So that is one major thing that will happen. And that when we first see it, it is a huge shift. The other thing that will happen is, now I start looking at how I can help the other. I start seeing how I can improve the other's competence without trying to change the other person. Without trying to change the behavior, now I try to do things in a way that uh, it is reflecting my concern for the other. You see, there is a difference. So, have we been able to see any of these shifts that we are talking about? This assignment we had given yesterday regarding one is that is our attention being drawn towards the self? 
are we you know even thinking about the self and the body rather than just the body and the other thing are we seeing this importance of the self and the feeling in the self in our relationships is there some shift happening so we'll take some observations um arunachalam ji yes good morning ma'am good morning uh, in case of uh, the real life uh, we unable to change uh, my family actually i have forced to attend this program to my family also she told you are wasting the time <laughs> uh, but i try but uh, unable to get the uh, success she told uh, what is the use of this uh, program are you getting uh, because the money is the basic need without money internet and everything i unable to attend this program so <laughs> here uh, before that uh, i have argued with you in the rvs college at bangalore also the same thing because Uh, if i get the failure in the certificate i told internet failure i unable to get this is not my fault i am arguing with you this is not my fault due to system error i unable to get the certificate so how to maintain peaceful in real life yeah see until and unless that shift starts happening in us we are not able to see that calm and that comfort within and then it will seem very difficult it's true that it will seem like what is the use because right now we don't seem to have that happiness within and we are trying to restrict or control getting the happiness from outside so there is a lot of desperation and it feels very stifling constrictive so i agree that you know at that point it seems like what's the point but if you keep the exploration going you will find slowly that that shift takes place in us after all even you say you know that you are trying to change the family but it doesn't work it will not work because you yourself have not been able to see that change within and we are trying to change somebody else based on whatever we have heard now what that does is it is not showing in my behavior so i may still be getting upset i may still be getting angry now the other person is going to say what's the use it hasn't helped you why should i waste my time with it see what is happening so how to maintain that calm how to be able to see it so it's not being said that money is not important or physical facility is not important but where would you put the priority what is our priority is it the certificate or is it to understand if i understand things and i am able to you know be in that state of comfort i will realize that this is what i wanted i wanted to be calm this is what you are saying right you want to be calm but what happens is right now we have this notion that if this such and such things happen outside i will be happy so if i get a certificate i will be happy if this program goes properly i will be happy we put these you know for ourselves right from childhood we may have been conditioned towards that i'll when i do my 10th i'll finish my 10th i'll be happy after 10th okay i have to do my 12th when i finish my 12th i'll be happy when i finish the 12th then when i do the entrance exams when i get into a good college i'll be happy when i get into the good college i must get good grades and then i'll be happy when i get the good grades i must get a job with a good package and this goes on and on and on so what are we doing here we are pushing that happiness further and further away every time we seem to reach it the pleasure is momentary and then again we are looking towards something else to make us happy 
nothing wrong in achieving in life it's not that you just want to be stagnant and say everything is fine and i'm all well and everything but the same things we can do with the calm inside without getting tense and stressed about it without getting unhappy about this and without getting that huge disappointment because if i am not invested totally in that feeling supposing i am doing something with the right feeling within me i am already calm i am already comfortable and now i do this i can focus much better but if i am already disturbed then i don't focus so well isn't it so many times you know even in like cricket matches and all you might have seen earlier somebody is playing they are playing very well they come to 99 points hmm? now a lot of stress tension is there and many people get out at that time or sometimes if they are able to focus pay attention they may cross over so whenever that tension is there inside whenever i am over anxious about things i may not perform as well outside either isn't it have you noticed that yes yes yeah so the whole point is can i be calm and then do what i need to do isn't it so i can yeah. look at it this way that i didn't get the certificate and i can be unhappy about it or i can look at it this way that perhaps you know this is just another opportunity i can go through it one more time and i will have better understanding i can explore more about it so some rules have been made based on you know um, see for any organization to have a system it has to go by some rules isn't it so those yeah. rules we have to follow because otherwise there is going to be chaos some some sort of order some sort of rule has to be made and then we follow that now when occasionally it does happen that you know for somebody like in your case you felt that things did not happen the way they should have but now it's over it's done with isn't it yeah either we can keep working on trying to change that in which case there is a lot of frustration and happiness disturbance within or we can look at it as an opportunity that okay i'll do it one more time and this time i will understand better i will explore better so that i can be having that calm within and at some point when that calm within settles in you see that shift now it you realize that it was not about the outside it was about me that i can have the right feeling regardless of what is happening outside can you see that yes ji uh neetu chauhan ji neetu chauhan ji yeah hello good morning ji ji good morning are you audible ji if you can be little or would yeah. now now am i audible ha huh, yeah okay uh, yes uh, yesterday it was there that i have to focus, see whether my attention is more on myself or on the body mm -hmm. so i could see that so slowly the shift no, there is a shift the time seeing in myself yesterday also i could observe that due to some situation outside the inner calm the inner harmony was not disturbed as much as it used to be earlier very nice very so, nice yes yesterday i observed this thing that we whatever be the situation outside i am able to handle it in a better way mm -hmm. because now i know that the intention of other is not what i am thinking the intention is earlier i used to think okay they are giving me so much work 
or whenever mm-hmm. I open my Yale, there are you know so many emails. Whether do this by this date, do this by this date. So I had this doubt on intention. Why are they doing? Huh? Why sending so many emails? Mm-hmm. But when you know, yesterday I could see that the other is also working like I am working. So this is a shift that I observed yesterday that I was not disturbed by the whatever work was being given or whatever was happening outside. And in class also yesterday I had class. I showed the so there was the sessional exam. So I gave the answer sheets to the students, and they just saw the answer sheets. So there are students you know who are not happy with whatever marks you have given. So mm-hmm. earlier I used to argue with the students. You know I have given this this mark, so this is fine. I am correct, okay, and you deserve this only. But yesterday you know one or two students when they came, okay, ma'am, this you know please reconsider this question. Please do re- you know, read it again. So I said, okay, you leave this answer sheet. I will read it once more, and then you can come and I, I will see if I can you know, change your marks or whatever I have to do. I will just see it once more and then respond. So this is one change that I noticed yesterday. That earlier I used to say, okay, no, no, these are the final marks. I have uploaded it on the drive also. Now it won't change. Mm-hmm. But yesterday I could say that okay, I will see if I can do something. and then i will i don't know whether the marks will be updated or not but still i could observe in myself that i was not that aggression was not there yesterday that no this marks will not change so there is yeah. a, this shift that i have noticed yesterday didi yeah just one word of caution do here that are we just not aggressive like before or are we just bowing down to the others are we getting influenced by the others approach so oh, yeah ha huh. so evaluating ourselves also rightly evaluating the other also rightly just seeing the relationship and seeing our complementarity that much is fine so long as we are not getting overly influenced by the others approaching us you know because then it will lead to other issues other people will also start coming other students and so on so that you may want to just check i think what you meant was that uh, you were able to look at it as calmly and then decide later whether it is you know the marks need to be changed or not or whatever is that what you were saying Yes, yes, Didi. I said that I will see. Actually, I, I have, I am from electronics background. Mm-hmm. I am electronic. I am heading the department of electronics and communication. So voluntarily, I have taken up a subject message of Bhagavad Gita. Mm-hmm. So I have done this course from Scon also on Bhagavad Gita, and then uh, I volunteered that okay, I want to teach this subject. Mm-hmm. So it's a very subjective thing, and. i have read all the papers i did not give marks just like that i read all the papers nice so it took me a lot of time to read each and every student's answer because this subject is like you cannot give answers just like that and you cannot give marks also just like that so i have to see the student's perspective also how, the way he is attempting the question so that is why i said that okay i will read your answers once again ji yeah, very nice very nice so Yes. it will start reflecting in many ways so is it correct didi like i said that okay i will read your answers once again and then yeah i mean i think it's okay as long as you know we are not getting you know like influenced by the person so that whatever he is saying we are doing that no 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 it's it's huh. like that no, yeah. so we evaluate ourselves also rightly and we evaluate yeah. the other also rightly and then we help the other person that is fine thank you thank you didi important thing what you could notice here is that you were calm throughout the process rather than just outwardly out and out rejecting the other person so you yes, could this, listen this to the shift didi yes this is a yeah. shift because earlier i used to 
earlier i used to say okay no this is your final marks it will not change unless there is a numerical and some error on my part <laughs> शबनम नरूला जी दीदी गुड मॉर्निंग वॉन्टेड टू से सिंस लाइक आई टोल्ड यू आई जस्ट फिनिश्ड वन लास्ट वीक एंड सो आई हैवन बीन एबल टू सी द शिफ्ट इन अंडरस्टैंडिंग अदर्स इंटेंशन लाइक आई स्टिल आई एम स्टिल देर वेर आई वॉज दो थियोरेटिकली आई अंडरस्टैंड इट बट लाइक टूडे इन द मॉर्निंग सेशन यू स्टार्टेड लाइक दिस विच इज सो री एश्योरिंग दैट some of us may not see it right now but it happens by time like it comes gradually that in practice we then start focusing on other person's intention so yeah so that's why i mean i know that this is a journey and i the my my main purpose is my the change that will first come in me that is my first priority in any case only then can i implement it after implementing can i uh, you know relate this to others otherwise i is true. not going to happen so very true so um, you know when you go through the exercises in this morning session you may be able to see this shift little better so i would say just you know continue with the morning session and as we go through the exercises then you may be able to see this because right now it is there as information that's how we all start we start with the information then we explore this we contemplate on it we try to practice it in our living and slowly we are able to see that shift happen in a very natural process so all the best <laughs> thank you didi thank you um bali reddy ji नमस्कार दीदी मैडम सो बाय गॉड्स ग्रेस आई हैव बीन डूइंग ऑल दी एक्सरसाइजेस एंड इन दैट प्रोसेस एट द टाइम ऑफ यू एच वी टू एज एन असाइनमेंट आई रोट सम कमेंट्स आल्सो मींस माय फीलिंग सो एट द टाइम यू टोल्ड दी ह्यूमन गोल इज टू बी कंटिन्यूसली हैप्पी एंड प्रॉस्परस then i wrote one uh, my opinion that being prosperous is a part of happiness then why do you uh, say that it is uh, uh, in addition to being happy and prosperous like that you are saying at that time i wrote but now in this present slide it is very clear that uh, the purpose you see madam just you can uh, uh, we can if we can observe after uhv2 uh regarding purpose uh, one may feel uh, uh the human purpose is uh, uh continuous happiness and prosperity however after uh, uhv3 it is continuous happiness prosperity is a part of it that i like madam because what i have had in my uh, mind and i feel also experience also because uh, the prosperity uh, means uh, what i feel uh, that is nothing but contentment santosha so whatever we have god has provided as uh, uh, we can be happy with it so whatever energy whatever uh, the physical facility uh, god has given us uh, we have to properly utilize it suppose if we utilize it properly then definitely god will uh, uh, give us more that i can understand but at the time you told uh, being prosperous is also one of the goals means uh, at the time i got doubt so now it is very clear i feel uh, very happy madam because prosperity is a part of uh, uh, our uh, uh, feeling of uh, continuous happiness because without being contentment without having contentment uh, without being content uh, we cannot be happy so being uh, in in the uh, in being happiness uh, uh, feeling uh, contentment is a part only now uh, it is very clear and i feel very happy madam yeah i think so i think you have got my point <laughs> you get your point because uh, yes madam because uh, uh, even though a poor person can be content with the things what uh, has been given by god yeah so i would just say what is being said is that uh, you know when we say prosperity yeah prosperity it is the feeling of having more than required 
physical facility Haan, and man. one of the one of the signs that you are feeling prosperous is you start sharing with others ah yeah madam yes madam really and you rightly utilize what you have so yeah. this feeling is important certainly Haan, madam physical facility is also required not to say that you know we'll mm-hmm. just be content with whatever we have even if it is less than sufficient yeah if yeah, we yeah. understand that physical facility is required for the body no ah. then we'll be able to see that it is required in limited quantity ah yes madam yes yes so Because then of, mm, we can yeah, we yeah. may find that we are already prosperous we have more than enough yeah yeah thank you thank you madam yeah. thank you ah Okay. Um, we may take one or comment more, then we'll go on. Kani Raja Ji. Do you want to share something? Good morning, Didi. Good morning. Um, Didi, uh, there is a shift in learning. It is going on. Uh, from after UH two, now UH three, the shift can be easily seen. Regarding one question asked by uh, the DV who is from designing background, uh, she can go for uh, so important course that can help her a lot. Mm-hmm. I suggest. I have True. dropped her number also. I can discuss with DV. Yeah. If she likes. Yeah. That is one. Otherwise, she can attend the, uh, the workshops that is happening anywhere. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So maybe we'll go forward a little with our content also. Um, if we can go to the next slide. yeah so now through uhv3 what we are going to try to see one is the shift that human being is not just the body but it is self and body with different needs different activities now a further shift that this is what is important to me the self is the one that is central body i am using for expressing myself for interacting with others for doing you know work with nature but ultimately i am the one who is responsible i am the seer i am the doer i am the one who is using the body like a tool so that may be something that we'll be able to see perhaps and this continuous happiness that i am looking for in uhb2 we talked about understanding the harmony at all the four levels at myself as a human being with the body with the family with the society with nature now we may be able to get this shift that when i am looking for continuous happiness and i am looking for that harmony i may realize when i understand what this coexistence is when i have this feeling and thought of coexistence then i am happy and i will realize that this coexistence is the one that is expressing itself in the form of harmony at all these four levels so now i can see deeper that what is the basis for this harmony in myself what is the basis for harmony in the family the society in nature that underlying all of this there is a coexistence so whenever i have the feeling and thought of coexistence i feel happy so this um, two important points like we were saying yesterday one is to see that the need for the feeling of prosperity is a part of being in continuous happiness 
So when you are in harmony at all the levels, you are in harmony with the body also, then you will naturally take care of the body. You have the feeling of self-regulation. You are able to have health in the body. You are able to nurture the body, protect the body and rightly utilize the body. And you take care of how much physical facility is required for the body. So this is all part of that program for happiness only. This we may be able to see. And in terms of behavior and work, whatever we understand on that basis, it reflects in our actions outside. So when we have understanding of the coexistence, with that understanding, when I bring my feelings and thoughts in line with that understanding of coexistence, then accordingly it starts reflecting in my behavior with others. I start seeing the harmony. So now instead of, say for example, instead of having, uh, you know, when somebody interacts with me, somebody shouts at me, I might be able to see this, that he is the one who is not in harmony. Because of that, I don't have to get disturbed. I don't have to lose my harmony. I can see that, you know, as a part of this coexistence, my role in this is to help the other, to be complementary to the other. So this little further shift we may be able to see in this. So I think we can lower the previous hands and we can see if anybody has any questions so far on this slide. Otherwise, we'll go further. You can open up the full slide. Yeah, so if anybody um, has any question regarding this, we'll take it. Yes, uh, Gita Ji. Didi, Namaste, Didi. Namaste. Didi, just the proposal you are discussing just now. In the previous slide, Didi. Can we go to the previous slide, Didi? Yeah. We can go back to the previous slide. Yes, Didi. Yeah. Yes, Didi. So, this proposal, happiness is to be in a state of coexistence. Mm -hmm. Uh, I need an explanation because in the previous proposal, happiness is to be in a state of harmony. Yes, that I am mm -hmm. able to see it clearly, Didi. This mm -hmm. proposal, happiness is to be in the state of coexistence. Uh, mm -hmm. Can you exemplify with an example also, Didi? This I am getting stuck up with coexistence and happiness, Didi. Yeah. So, see, when we are talking about happiness as uh, being you know, a part of my program. This is what we started with, right? That I want to be happy. So there I am looking at happiness as harmony within myself. Isn't it? Yes? GDD. Now, I will notice that this harmony within myself is also an expression of the coexistence. Harmony with the others, the harmony in nature, the harmony in society that I'm trying to understand, this is all an expression of the coexistence. So like the other day we were taking that example that in nature you find all kinds of trees, shrubs, grasses, they are growing together, isn't it? Right now we are doing, we are trying so hard to grow a few plants in our garden. But if you look at the forests where man has not intervened, you will find the forests are flourishing. So many varieties of trees, shrubs, grasses, everything is growing so well without our trying to add water or put manure, isn't it? Yes? Can you see that? I'm sorry, Didi, I have unmuted. Gee, Didi, I'm able to see that, Didi. Yeah. 
So this is also an expression of the coexistence, the harmony that you see in all the levels. So you will find that at every level, when I start looking, I can see the harmony and this is an expression of that coexistence. So now when I have the feeling and thought of coexistence, I notice that I am happy. So it's not just the limited harmony within myself, but I am seeing the harmony at all the levels as an expression of that coexistence. Does that make sense? Uh, sorry, Didi, I think I have to explore more, Didi. Now, maybe you can reflect on this and we'll come back to it. Mm, G -D -D. Okay. Thank you, Didi. Thank you so much. That's it from my side. Mm -hmm. uh, Yogita Ji. Ma'am, good morning. Good morning. Um, Ma'am, in this slide, it was like uh, you told that uh, when the other person is not understanding, uh, mm -hmm. we should make the other person understand, right? No, 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 no. I did not say that. Okay. At no point are we trying to make the other person understand. See, what mm -hmm. is happening is, mm -hmm. understanding will happen within myself. If I have to understand something, when I explore, I will understand in time, isn't it? Whatever you or anybody else, supposing if I understand something and I express it outside, now it is only words to the other person, hmm. isn't it? Now those words may mean something, it is up to me to interpret them correctly, hmm. right? How will I interpret them? I need to see my own natural acceptance. I need to refer to my own imagination. I need to bring the two in line. Then I will start seeing things within me in a more uh, clear manner. But right now what is happening is we all have our own conditionings, isn't it? Mm. We have our own... Um, how we grew up and what kind of background we had, where we went to school, what kind of friends we had, all of that is different, isn't it? Mm. So we have all got perhaps different conditionings. So many a time when some word is spoken, we look at it through our conditionings, through our own assumptions. Mm. So even though the same word is being spoken, two or three people may interpret it very differently because they are interpreting through their conditioning. Isn't it? Mm. Can you appreciate that? Yeah, I agree with this, ma'am. Yeah. So now what is going to happen is the person who is looking at it through their conditioning, they will think, I have understood. Isn't it? Because they are seeing it in a certain light. Mm. through their conditioning. It's like, I keep saying this example, it's a simple thing that we can see. Trees outside are green. But if I'm wearing red colored glasses, those trees appear red to me. Isn't it? Mm. I take them off, I put on green glasses, they appear green to me. I put on yellow glasses, they appear yellow to me. But that's not how they are. So when we say understanding, we are trying to understand all of reality the way it is, not through our conditionings. So how will that happen? That will happen only when I work on myself. When I do this exploration, when we go through the exercises, you will be able to understand that better. Mm -hmm. That we'll work on that also. To try to see which of the conditionings are in line with the reality and which are not. And those that are not, they can be discarded. We don't need to hold on to them. Then yeah. slowly we'll be able to see the reality. So understanding will happen within every individual at their own pace. So if I say something, I cannot make the other understand. Can you see that? Yes, ma'am. So ma'am, here... Uh... 
when i make my thought and imagination aligned and all i will be in harmony right mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. uh, and i will understand the situation that this is something which is happening but i should be happy how by keeping myself understanding that you know uh, it's okay the person is not understanding or whatever but i should feel like uh, you know uh, that things are uh, i cannot change the things i cannot change the things right so i should make myself understand and make myself happy right um just this caution that it doesn't mean that we accept whatever is happening outside and say it's okay let it be and i should be happy that's not what is being said we do whatever we need to do outside right whatever interaction we need to do outside whatever effort we need to make outside we do make that effort but without being disturbed inside mm, can you see yes. Yes, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you so much. Thank you. I agree, ma'am. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Um. One more raised hand is there. We'll take that before we go forward. Chandrakala ji. Uh, nam namaste, ma'am. Namaste to all. Uh, ma'am. Uh, happiness in. Uh, Uh, coexistence that is harmony in coexistence in this regard uh i am happy i am comfortable uh whenever i related with all the four orders like a family and uh, like when we were in the working place or with the nature uh if that system is not in the comfortable state uh whenever we related uh, with that uh we should not feel un uh, unhappy myself but uh, i have to make a program uh, in such a way that uh, what extent it is possible with my competent to make the them also happy that's why i understood that meaning of that uh, harmony in coexistence is it right ma'am see coexistence by itself the expression of that is the harmony that you are seeing uh -huh. isn't it at all the levels uh -huh. so it is while it is true that there is you know the expression of that coexistence is harmony at all the levels for myself i start with myself first isn't it uh -huh. so i start yeah. working on myself to uh -huh. see can, am i in harmony now Mm. why is it not naturally happening or why is it not evident to begin with it's because i am not able to see my natural acceptance i have all kinds of desires which may not be in line with my natural acceptance therefore i am unhappy i am disturbed mm. isn't it yeah ma'am to understand that although the expression of that coexistence is harmony i if i don't understand it then i am going to be disturbed so first and foremost i have to understand it within myself mm -hmm. then when i look at the family mm -hmm. now remember we were saying that you cannot make the other understand you can only mm -hmm. help you can support mm -hmm. you can try mm -hmm. effort mm -hmm. but you can't make the other understand mm -hmm. so a lot of times what we do is we want to change the other person and mm -hmm. if the other person doesn't change their behavior then we get disturbed and we are unhappy mm -hmm. so rather than do that mm -hmm. if i can be undisturbed mm -hmm. and make my effort mm -hmm. to help the other person if i am undisturbed it will reflect in my behavior also isn't it mm -hmm. so i will not get mm -hmm. yeah. i will not get angry i will not get upset mm -hmm. i will make my mm -hmm. effort Mm. but i must also be able to see that the other will also take time will mm. understand at their own pace mm. so i will not stop making the effort but at the same time i will be calm within so here i am already yes. happy 
isn't it? Yeah, yeah. I'm happy yeah. and with that happiness, I make the effort. But mm -hmm. if they are not able to change immediately or if they are not able to show it in their behavior, I don't get disturbed by it. Because yeah. I accept that they will, it will happen at their own pace. Make sense? Yeah. yeah. Thank you. I understood. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Um, maybe we should go further. There is hardly any time left. Um, yeah. So, essentially, this you can consider it another shift. But when we look at the coexistence, when we when we are now you know, after UHB three, what is expected is that when we see the existence, we can see this pattern of coexistence in all of existence, and we will find that the pattern of this is. When we understand this, we will find that the pattern is one of coexistence, of harmony, and of relationship. So a reflection of this coexistence is there when we have, uh, when we see the relatedness with all, when we see the harmony, the order that is there prevalent, and we see the coexistence. With that, when we have the feeling and thought of coexistence, Coexistence, in existence, and seeing the harmony, the order in nature, in all of the environment, and seeing the relationship with all the other units. With that, I can be happy in continuity. And so when I have this feeling and thought of coexistence, it will naturally reflect in my behavior. So I live according to that. Therefore, my conduct becomes definite. So this is what we had to say for today. And I think um, if we can go to, do we have an assignment in this? Yeah, we can open that. We can look at this, that since UHV2, what effort are you making for self-exploration on a regular basis? And what is the outcome of it? If you can share three specific achievements out of this and any 10 key takeaways that you could get from UHV2 that you have been able to reflect on, you can put them down also. If you can do this for today as an assignment, I'll put it on the group also. Then we can discuss it tomorrow. So we'll stop here for now.